I want to read something to you and the title of it title of it is you are looking for the right one but you are the wrong one you are looking for the right one but you are the wrong one you have gotten in quite a few relationships but they all fail Similative. Similarly, they all almost end in the same way. Is this a coincidence? You blame all your ex girlfriends, ex boyfriends, spouses, yet, how can all your relationships? just about, and in the same way. What do all your relationships have in common? You. You may pray to God to find someone suitable for you. Some may have come. Do you chase them away with your insecurity, jealousy, fear, irrationality if you are unyielding or not humble how can the relationship work if you aren't willing to submit to the rules of the Bible how can your relationship succeed would you rather stay bitter and make excuses for why you are alone. Unsuccessfully trying to convince yourself all men are bad. All women are manipulative and want your money. No one is loyal. All relationships will end eventually. Why are you trying to convince yourself of lies? Why not change and get what you truly desire? I don't think too many people want to marry or purposely marry an emotionally toxic person. What should you do? First, submit yourself totally to Jesus Christ. Follow his rules. Learn to be reasonable. Don't purposely stay irrational. Learn to be patient and humble. Learn how to stay calm, even though People may wrong, or should I say, mistreat you. Narcissism is not a flattering trait. From what I understand, self-centeredness, self-centeredness will make you very lonely. How are you able to get what you desire if you are mainly only concerned about yourself. You are looking for the right one, but you are most certainly the wrong one. Don't let this be true about you. God bless you.